Hi, this is a quick three minute video on this. Hi, this is the second video in the series where we're looking at five hard questions part two. Please do download the worksheet from 3 Minute Maths or stop the video, have a go at each of these questions and then compare your solutions. Okay, so this is question two and we've got 6x squared equals 7xy plus 20y squared. What it tells us is the values of x and y are greater than zero and we need to find the ratio. So the easiest thing to work through with this is going to be to factorise it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring everything over towards the left hand side and I'm going to get minus 7xy and minus 20y squared and all of that equals zero. Okay, what we're looking at is two numbers that when we multiply them together make 120 or negative 120 and when we add them together make minus 7. Okay, well those two numbers happen to be minus 15 and positive 8 because when we multiply those two numbers together we're going to get minus 120 and when we add them together we're going to get negative 7. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rewrite this so 6x squared and rather than writing minus 7xy I'm going to write minus 15xy plus 8xy and then negative 20y squared and that equals 0. Then really it's just a case of factorising the first two terms. So when I factorise those I'm going to factorise those for 3x and I get in brackets 2x minus 5y and if I now factorise the second two terms I'm going to factorise those for plus 4y and guess what I get 2x minus 5y as well and that all equals 0. So therefore I've got two common factors that when I multiply them by 3x and 4y I get my solution so I can rewrite that now as 3x plus 4y multiplied by 2x minus 5y and that all equals 0. So therefore I've got two values I've got when 3x plus 4y equals 0 and I've also got when 2x minus 5y equals 0. Okay so let's have a look at the actual values of those so I could rewrite this as 3x equals negative 4y I could rewrite this as 2x equals positive 5y. Okay now if I switch around my two coefficients I'm going to get the values of x to y as ratios which is going to be minus 4 to 3 and I'm also going to get 5 to 2. Okay now if you remember right from the very beginning it said the values of x and y had to be positive so therefore the answer to this particular question will be x is 5 and y is 2 and that will give you the answer to this question. I hope that's been useful to you. Okay, so I hope the video was useful. Please do add a comment below if you're not sure about anything. I'll always come back to you. Subscribe to the channel. I'll look forward to seeing you inside the next video.